Hello, this is Jack Jackson. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about Augustin Louis Cauchy. There's a uh, uh, picture of him there. Here's a, another picture of him at a little older age. Cauchy was born August 21st, 1789, and died May 23rd, 1857. So the first half of the 19th century was very much the age of Gauss, and Cauchy. They were the two uh, biggest giants of that particular time. Cauchy was French. Of course, Gauss was German. And so notice that he was around the French Revolution as a child, very turbulent period. Uh, but he was able to ultimately study with Lagrange and Laplace, so he had great teachers at that time. He, it, and uh, they told him to study classical languages before he could study mathematics seriously, so he en enrolled in uh, the Ecole Centrale du Pantheon uh, when he was about 12 to 13 years old. He spent a couple years there learning all the classical languages. In 1805, then, he entered the Ecole Polytechnique, uh, which was the one of the top schools for mathematicians there, where Lagrange and Laplace and others taught um, and studied mathematics there. After finishing his degree there, he entered engineering school and he ended up starting his career as an engineer and he had a very heavy load as an engineer but ended up studying mathematics in spite of that heavy workload and in 1811 he published his first paper and it was about polyhedra so a geometry paper was his start in 1815 he, he was he lost out on a professor position but he got an assistant professor position at the Ecole Polytechnique and so he started teaching there and he taught there for quite some time Cauchy is largely responsible for establishing the rigor and the foundations of calculus. He pretty much single-handedly founded the area of real analysis and especially the area of complex analysis. Uh, he's the first one to talk about complex functions of a complex variable and apply calculus techniques to that field. So he just basically you know, created that field all the, all the way. And although there were some ideas of making uh, rigor and, and mathematics on the uh, calculus side, uh, which is what real analysis is about, as the theory of, of regular calculus, uh, he was the one that really lifted that up. And he, he was responsible for things like some of our modern ideas about calculus, proving that the world results of calculus that work, putting some rigor behind that, and getting the the uh, the ideas of calculus on a firm foundation, and that's probably what the, what he's most known for. But he did all kinds of work uh, that was related to that, and some that wasn't. He worked on convergence and divergence of infinite series. So we talk now about Cauchy sequences, for example. Um, he did some work on number theory, including work on polygonal numbers. He did work on differential equations, determinants. The theory of permutations groups, which was some of the earliest work that eventually led to group theory. Now, the group theory idea really didn't come about till much till after his death, the latter part of the of the 19th century, and then really reached maturity in the early 20th century. But uh, he has some foundational work there in permutation, what we now call permutation groups, uh, that are foundational things in the study of of group theory so that's an area of abstract algebra that he was important in laying the foundation for he also did important work in probability and geometry he worked with symmetric functions he did work with waves mathematical physics mathematical astronomy basically he worked in all known areas of mathematics of the time and even sort of created some completely new areas and in contrast to gauss who hardly published anything uh, what he did publish, of course, was amazing and, and, and earth-shattering, but uh, Cauchy published a lot, 789 papers, and all of them very significant. So if you're talking about the total number of papers, and especially significant papers, the only person that really can compete with him is Euler. Euler published more, but, but Cauchy is right there second to Euler. Um, he did more than anyone to establish really modern pure mathematics. So I mean it's not a stretch to call him the father of the age of rigor in mathematics. 
and uh, much of the way we think about mathematics today and the way we teach uh, these these uh, things like like real analysis and complex analysis at the undergraduate and graduate level that's really based on Cauchy that's really Cauchy's work and uh, he's he's really really responsible for that so he was a, a very very important person in the way mathematics was growing and he did all of this uh, work in the 19th century